about one in 20 people have heard of PEMF. And if they've heard of it, they usually think of a mat, like they've been to a chiropractor that has like a beamer mat or one of those mats. So those, they're great, but they're $5,000, right? Yeah. So I wanted to try and <clears throat> invent something that, hey, there's gotta be a way to make this a simple consumer device. So I'm not an electrical engineer. My undergraduate's chemical engineering, but I'm granting myself electrical engineering degree now after these years of catching things on fire, burning stuff up, it shouldn't shouldn't have been this hard to get to where it's at, but it was. So that's what it, the goal was: is to make a consumable a consumer device that people could use at home that's reasonably affordable, right? So that's what to make it available to a lot more people, at least. A lot more people, and then if you're in severe back pain, you don't want to drive to the doctor's office twice a week anyway. And what's nice about it, it's the only pocket PEMF device that I know of in the world. So. I was always telling people to wear it with a lanyard around your neck initially, but like your necklace, but it's, you know what? It works just as well in your pocket. I forget it's there, right? I have one running right now for back pain. I just stick it in my pocket. You forget it's there. It runs and it does its thing. It doesn't make any noise. It's doesn't make sound. It puts out a magnetic field, okay. um, but it's most people can't feel anything except the result. 